The fundamental function of gears is to shift mechanical energy from one rotational speed and torque to another. Because gear engagement involves inevitable physical contact, this produces tooth surface wear or tooth injury. Therefore, gears require regular lubrication and occasional maintenance. When thinking of gears that transmit torque without contact, think magnetic gears. These great gears do not require lubrication, do not suffer from wear or debris generation, and might give exceptionally stable performance over an extended lifespan. A gear with these fantastic features should be on the lips of everyone interested in gears. Still, surprisingly, this is not so with magnetic gears. It is well known that mechanical gears are incredibly dependable and these drive systems can reach extremely high torques. Nonetheless, they have certain intrinsic flaws. In this video, we reveal why nobody is talking about magnetic gears. Sit with us until the end of this video, and you will decide whether magnetic gears are for you. Let's get started. Magnetic gears are remarkably similar to ordinary mechanical gears in terms of the fundamental operating principle, geometry, and function. Physical contact gear engagement in mechanical gears is replaced by magnetic engagement in these gears, which is supplied by a magnetic source such as a permanent or electromagnet. This high magnet interaction concentric magnetic gearbox is one of the most prevalent instances of this technology. Magnetic gears aren't very well known and are only used in a few niche applications. Still, they are becoming increasingly popular and are one of the best ways to transfer mechanical energy by changing torque and RPM. You'll probably find them somewhere. So let's find out what they are and what they can do. What are magnetic gears? Instead of using mating surfaces of mechanically interlocking teeth to transmit torque, magnetic gears use alternating magnetic fields. Magnetic gears have always played a modest part in engineering. Their relatively high price, which directly reflects their reliance on rare earth such as complex assemblies, neodymium, and susceptibility to slip at high torques, have not precisely propelled them to the forefront of the industry. The maximum torque density of magnetic gears is significantly lower than that of their mechanical equivalents. However, if their rated torque is surpassed, magnetic gears do not sustain irreversible damage. Expanding the torque of magnetic gears is currently the focus of numerous research programs, and they are making their way into increasing applications. Due to the absence of mechanical interlocking and physical contact between the rotors, magnetic gears are not prone to mechanical wear. Most conventional gear types, including cog wheels and worm gears, can be recreated as magnetic gears by substituting the cut teeth with the alternating magnetic poles of permanent magnets. However, magnetic gear typically refers to a coaxial kind with significantly superior performance in industrial applications. It is mechanically similar to a strain wave gear and permits high gear ratios and comparable torque. Instead of a flexible spline, this sort of gear utilizes the flexibility of the magnetic field. At full load, torque densities comparable to mechanical gears can be achieved with efficiencies of 99% or greater. In part load conditions, significantly higher efficiencies can be achieved than with mechanical gears. In addition, with greater power ratings, magnetic gear can be smaller, lighter, and less expensive. How do magnetic gears work? The magnetic gear design consists of three concentric rotors and resembles mechanical planetary gear sets in many ways. The inner and outer rotors include permanent magnets and serve as sun and ring gears, respectively. A flux modulator that functions as a planet gear is positioned between them. It is well known that a permanent magnet contains two poles, north and south, and that poles with the same polarity repel each other, whereas poles with opposite polarities attract. When the sun gear takes a short step and aligns with the next iron segment in the modulator, it attracts the south pole on the ring gear toward itself while simultaneously fixing the adjacent north pole. These forces generate a tangential force in this direction, which rotates the ring gear. The inner and outer rings are constructed from powerful permanent magnets. The gear ratio is determined by the number of pole pairs in the inner and outer rings and the number of iron components. Due to the small air gap between each ring, friction cannot be accounted for. The modulator ring may operate as a stator or be directly linked to the output shaft, with the outer magnet ring as the stator. As the motor rotates, the force will build, but just after the peak, the magnets will no longer be able to retain each other, and the link between the magnets will break. Normally, 
Noticeable damage would occur at this point in mechanical gears, but there is no damage in the magnetic gear. Instead, the magnets simply slip over each other and jump to the next magnet. The magnets then interact again, and the force rises to the maximum level they can withstand. Still, they reach their limit and slip again. This is why oscillations are observed, and these variations also indicate that magnetic gears have inherent overtorque protection. What are these magnetic gears good for? No doubt, magnetic gears can be very efficient, have a very low torque ripple, and require almost no maintenance. They can be used anywhere. Efficiency, low torque ripple, and little or no maintenance cost are important. Interestingly, the magnetic gear's efficiency is between 99 and 100 percent at low speeds. Magnetic gears are interesting because they have a high gear ratio. This makes them good for stepping up very slow input forces. Wind turbines are also interested in magnetic gears because they have the same benefits. Early this year, a TV Lawrence Scott led Magnematics and Rolls-Royce said they would work together. They said their collaboration would produce a ship propulsion system that uses magnetic gears. In marine propulsion, magnetic gears change the high RPM from an engine to the low RPM and high torque needed for the propeller shaft. Magnetic gears are also useful in a lab and medical settings because they can seal the input and output forces so well that air can't get in or out. If magnetic gears are this fascinating and near-perfect, why is nobody talking about them? Evidently, magnetic gears also have downsides. As previously stated, the maximum torque may not be sufficient for some applications, and these gears are often more expensive and heavier than standard gears. In addition, at extremely high RPM, they lose their efficiency advantage due to higher losses brought on by hysteresis and increased eddy currents in the modulator. Nevertheless, ongoing research is gradually removing the majority of these restrictions. CMR's programmable magnets allow for powerful, finely spaced magnetic structures, which may, in the future, enable smaller, more efficient magnetic gears with increased torque density. Additionally, the need for gears is evolving. In industrial applications, greater torque may always be preferable. Still, Interactive robotic applications necessitate mechanisms that yield to assure the safety of human users. Magnetic gears can also be manufactured without the need for cumbersome gear-cutting machines, making them particularly appealing for do-it-yourself projects. Numerous permanent magnets, readily accessible hardware, and 3D printed components might be used to create a decent concentric magnetic gear. That's it on magnetic gears. Why is nobody talking about this? How do you feel about using magnetic gear in a project? Did you use magnetic gears for something not listed here? Tell us what you think and share it in the comment section. If this video is insightful, please go on and like this video. Remember to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button for more updates.